video is going to be a changing one. I am going to switch Quinny out of this really cute outfit. She has white little jeans with a flower and a matching little top. It's a really cute spring outfit. I put it on her like about a week ago and she demanded a new outfit. And since fairy godmother Katie from My Little World sent her a few things, this was one of the things, the dresses that I purchased, one of the items from Caitlin, from Caitlin. Between Katie and Katie, because for me, my daughter's Caitlin, but I call her Katie. <laughs> it's a little confusing around here. But this this is one of the pieces I purchased from Katie from My Little World. And it is a beautiful little summer dress. It is from Baby Gap, well, yeah, Baby Gap, and up to three months. So I am certain that it will fit her perfect hopefully without having to put her a little shirt underneath because although she could use a shirt underneath because it got cold here again and while I change her oh and also the reason why I wanted this dress when I saw this item go up on her sale was because of these little shoes they none of the babies have ever ever been able to use it only Quinn and I used these shoes on her when we did the meetup with an all white dress, but they are hard to match, but I love these little shoes. They're by Janie and Jack, and they're like teal with a lighter teal, like ribbon bow on top. They're like patent leather. They're so cute. And I never find anything that'll match these shoes. And so I saw the little dress and I'm like, those colors look like they would go with the shoes and they do so i'm super happy about that so yeah so as i change quinny i'm just going to talk you guys because i have issues reborning issues okay if you guys have been watching me for a little while you know that my videos are a bit unorthodox they're not <laughs> i am not Cookie cutter, I'm sorry, I'm never gonna be that. I say whatever pumps in my head and that makes for a nutty video. So bear with me throughout this video. But yeah, I hit a bump in the road, a very big one. I have finally met my match, you guys, with a baby. Okay, I'm going to try my hardest not to sound too brutal but I want to okay but I'm going to try and be very nice here because I feel bad for the sculptor and I know she probably will never see this video but still you know I could just imagine I just I have I have feelings and I'm sensitive to other people and I don't like making anyone feel bad but my god this baby has tried me you guys know that I waited. If you saw that box opening of the kit of my dream baby boy that took six and a half months, that's half of a year, you guys, to get here. That's enough to make me go, uh, forget it. But I did it because I loved the baby and I thought he was going to be my one and only little boy. And at that moment when I purchased that one, I didn't have, um any boys oh i'm sorry i thought the cat was there i had no boys so i thought that this was going to be my one and only boy and that's it it well it didn't work out that way he took too long and then benjamin came and then now brady who you guys all know i'm like a little obsessed with <laughs> he's my little thing that little baby is very very special to me anyway so i start painting my dream baby and things start going down the rabbit hole really really fast let me tell you and i'm a patient person when it comes to painting i don't rush i don't rush painting my babies i take my time because i'm a perfectionist and i like everything to look and feel and be perfect to well to my level of perfect that is so if you guys remember when i opened that kit i ordered right away as soon as i got out his little head I said his ears are small, but we could probably work with that, you know, putting here. No, 
that became my obsession. I cannot stop looking at this baby's ears. So when I started painting him, after I took him a nice little bath and all that, the eyes got, the ears, I mean the eyes, the ears got smaller and smaller before my eyes. That's how it feels. So, okay, I already had that, oh my God, and because I'm such a, I, I nitpick things, you guys, it's just my thing. I could not stop looking at his freaking ears. God, why? Anyway, so I start painting him. It goes bad really fast, like I said, because of his vinyl color. This kit is very, very orange. And neutralizing a, vi a baby, that's nothing new for me. I'd rather do it. I'd rather when I don't have to do like five, six, ten coats of neutralizing. I would prefer that. But I'm used to it. So it's okay. But his, because of the newer kits that are coming out now and the Latin vinyl and German vinyl and whatever vinyl, there's new things that keep coming. And the, and the babies, the vinyl feels different from different artists. And nowadays, they're really nice and soft and really skin-like. And so to get a very orange uh, kit that does not neutralize. That's how it felt, no matter what I did. So that was battle number one, aside from his ears. And so then comes <laughs> the paint. The paint stuck on him. But the thing is that because he's even heavily neutralized, it wouldn't really show. Nothing I did would show. I'm like, yo, what the? You know what I really want to say, but I'm not. What is wrong with this baby? And every time I would paint his head, oh my God, I would stare at those little tiny ears. His ears are mice ears, hence the name. Let me just get that out of the way. I named, yes, my baby coconut because his head is like a brick of how hard that little head is. To root that baby, I took a break, guys. I, I had to take a break. It, it's I'm too of a nervous uh, person. I can't deal with things like that day after day after day. I took a break. I put him away. I He's finished. He came out really, really nice. His paint job came out really nice. Nothing's wrong with it. <sighs> but the rooting, his head is as hard as a brick. Gee whiz, it's like, what else is gonna go wrong with this baby? And then, you know what made me feel even worse? Out of all the babies, my husband's not into the babies, of course. But out of all the babies that I have had come through this home, I sometimes ask him, Hun, what do you think about this? Babe, what do you think about this? Oh, look how cute he's coming out or whatever when he's walking by or if I'm painting in my bedroom or my vanity or whatever. And for the first time ever, you know what he said when I said, what do you think of this baby? He goes, oh, that's one ugly kid. Oh, uh, what? Like everything is like against this poor baby, which makes me feel sorry for him. Let me take her little braid off. I have made her a little French braid. She has that much hair, I can actually braid her hair. So then, oh, and I also found these little socks. <laughs> Sorry, my video's all over the place. These are so cute. God, I hope it's focusing. They have ruffle and like an elastic. They're different here. And then they have patterns that go down towards the feet. They're so cute. I love ruffle socks on little girls. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and Easton is here. So, here comes my husband and says that he's the ugliest baby. <laughs> and mind you, this was supposed to be my dream baby. And he's so cute to me still. But he has a lot of issues. Like, what? Happened, Iris, you know, it, the baby's by Iris Clement. It's a new sculpt that just came out. He was, I don't know what happened with the manufacturers or whatever, but they had to bump his release back twice. That's what took half of a year for it to release. And so, and it's by Iris Clement. I'm, I'm not too fond of what I'm about to say here, 
But I honestly, to be completely honest, I don't think I will ever buy another Iris Clement baby. My finger, you know when you do like monkey bars or a lot of yard work and you get those horrible hard little bumps? Well, I've done a lot of hard work in my life. <laughs> and I know what they feel like. Well, I have, right now is healing. I had a long one, not bumps, one long strip of like a hard, my skin went cracky dial, okay? Over the rooting needle, trying to root this baby. He's nowhere close to finish. That's how bad his head is. And the mistake that I did was, because his head is so hard, when it comes to vinyl, when you heat the vinyl and then you're gonna put hair in it, each strand of hair, this is in my mind how it works. I'm not sure if it, this is the, you know, the legit dynamics of the whole thing, but if the vinyl being soft is rubbery, so when you press a hair in, it'll grip it. And, and it, when it cools down, it'll help hold the hair until you glue it. Because this head is so hard, so, so hard, hence the name Coconut. Oh, and because of his ears. His middle name is Mouseketeer. I've named my baby Coconut mouse coteers don't judge me i have my very very valid reasons you guys and sorry quinn oh it fits her <laughs> i knew it would see she doesn't need a shirt underneath so yeah so <clears throat> coconut is a disaster the, the chances of me keeping coconut are very slim at this point because no one likes the baby and then not that I don't like the baby and I don't care what my husband thinks it's just god he's so difficult I've never ever and I've painted so many babies I've never ran across these problems and in order for the little ears they are so unrealistic. The reason why we purchase these babies and collect them is for the realism. This is very unrealistic. Having tiny little mouse ears. Yeah, he's a baby, a little head. But look at her ears. They're proportionate to her head. What happened, Iris? Did you fall asleep while you were to play with the Play-Doh? And you know, that makes me sound mean maybe, but <laughs> sorry, but it's the truth. What happened when it came to sculpting these ears? And then they're too baby doll-like. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but if you look at a baby from Toys R Us or Target or whatever, you're gonna expect dolly ears. With these babies, you expect human baby ears. You know, you expect detail and depth and... It's like regular dolly, tiny, tiny little ears were pasted on the side and he was done his head was done and he's a beautiful baby just that just the ears alone for me throw me off sorry but i don't if i want a dolly i'll pay 25 dollars in target or in toys r us if i want a reborn doll then it has to look real because it defeats the purpose you know what I mean? So that to me is a huge flaw with this kit. The vinyl is very orange. The, and then his head is brick hard, but his limbs are squishy, almost silicone-y. Real flimsy that even when you heat them up, so you know how you have to hang them to dry or after you, after you heat them up or cool down, you have to be careful. You have to make sure that it's completely cooled because if you put it on one of the little um, sticks where you put them to dry or spend the night, that little stick will cause a dent. It'll make the vinyl stretch out. And then you have to bake it again and try to smooth it out. And it does go back to place if you rebake it, but it gets deformed. You have to be careful how you place the limbs because it's that flimsy, especially after cooking the baby. It gets really soft and gummy that I was scared to even let anything touch because for fear of a uh, permanent indentation or for the vinyl to like start melting off. It, it, 
as you can see from the way that I from the way this entire video has gone it has not been a good experience with coconut musketeer I don't know I just and then I feel bad to say that I will never buy another Iris Clement baby but I won't but for the fear that she's still using the same people to make that vinyl because the head is too hard. I will never want to root another head that hard ever in my life. Ever. I'm never going to. If I were to buy a kit and it has a head that is that hard, I'm sending it back. I will not. It's not because I can. And then, you guys, the needles that this coconut broke. Oh my God. And he's not even finished. And I have bought needles from eBay, from Bountiful Baby, from McPherson's. And let me tell you, there's a difference. Even though they may be the same, like 42, I use a 42 gauge one barb needle. I have several of the same needles from different places. Why does one needle last me an entire head? And then if you buy the more inexpensive needle, you go through like five of them in, with the one head. You can feel how flimsy they are. It, you can see a big, big difference. So the good needles, the expensive needles, I've already gone through with coconut, like five needles on this hard head. And that's not the worst mistake that I did. I made a huge mistake. My fault, right? I ended up because the hair, if you were to, let's say, root a little piece, and then you need to go to sleep because you haven't slept in over 48 hours. <laughs> you want to wake up and have that little patch of hair done still. The next day you come and you touch it and all the hair falls right off. No matter how you root, how deeply rooted the hair is. So of course, sometimes when it comes to certain hair, I will glue as I go from the inside. Now, the mistake that I did was I had to because the hair comes right off this little head so I went and I started to glue the places that I had rooted I made that mistake because his head is so hard that for him you need to either heat constantly be heating up the head to be able to root a little tiny square or put the rice sock you know that trick that people do with the sock with the rice inside and heat it up in your microwave and you put it inside the head and it keeps the baby I don't have that little light I guess I'm not that pro you decide. <laughs> but, so yeah, so for him, you definitely need some type of heat to be able to root this little head. Because I started putting glue from the very beginning, now I can't do that because if I put that rice sock, the glue melts, sticks to the sock, and when you pull the sock out to go reheat it, it yanks out all the work you already did. You guys, Coconut Musketeer is a disaster. And so, and I'm so sorry to say that, but I, it's not that, and I think Iris Clement's babies are beautiful. What is it, Clement, Clement? I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name. I think her babies are beautiful. They are. I, but I, I never, this is my first Iris Clement baby. If all her babies are with this vinyl, like, and then the limbs are so smushy and squishy, and the head, I wish the head would have been that squishy, you know? But it's not. Okay, did I put my shoes on backwards? No. My finger may never come back to normal. The dryness is insane. I had to even take a nail file. Look how bad it got. How hard. Like crocodile. I'm not kidding. And I had to file. Because, and that's the thing. I don't have, I, use, I root without any um, it, tool. I don't ha I do have them but for some reason I can root faster with just a needle uncut needle that's just my preference mira do you know what that means that when I'm gonna say start speaking Spanish not good you guys so I feel really bad to say that I will never order a baby again but I'm sorry, was she sleepy when she started sculpting those ears? Did she forget in the last minute she just pasted some on? Like, they are nowhere close to human-like. 
they look like little mouse ears why his middle name is Mousketeer. And I'm keeping the name. I don't care. I don't care how crazy I sound on YouTube because I kept the name Coconut Musketeer. But it fits him to a T. He is a perfect coconut baby. <laughs> oh my God, Queenie. Right? Tell them. Yeah, my mama don't like that baby. <laughs> She's so cute. Look, Katie, how cute she looks. You'll see her better in the pictures because when I do my talking videos, you know how that goes. So let me just spritz her hair a little bit. Ah, oh, she did them the brush. Because I, I had a little French braid on her and it left her some waves. Okay, I think we need the toothbrush. And again, now, let me lay her down. So, yeah, you guys, I know you guys haven't seen my, <laughs> my face in a little while. And then I come on and I look <laughs> like a mad lady complaining about <laughs> a baby. And I don't know how interesting this video is going to be. But it's who I am. This is my life, you guys. And if you click onto my channel, you got to expect something like this. It's always something different with me, right? But my lord, and I will show you him, but he's he's tucked away safely so that I don't have to see his little face because I feel like a failure, a big fat failure. And then I'm dieting. Oh my lord, have mercy. I'm not in a very good mood, you guys. I'm on a healthy diet. I'm trying to eat healthier. And, um, which is going well. <laughs> but I have to say right now, like I told Danny from Instagram. Hi, Danny. I have never looked at my kids' school snacks and wanted to eat them. Never. I'm not a candy person. I'm not like a, one of those little cakes person uh, give me a cheesecake that's different but you know like children's snacks I'm not one to eat those things until Monday <laughs> that's when my <laughs> diet started and then the frustration with coconut plus the diet you should have seen me running on my treadmill I look insane oh my god I could laugh at my own self Okay, I'm going to just put her this little white headband and see. Oh, you are so pretty. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. Right, Easton? Oh no, Easton went over. Let me put this down. Okay. There you go. Look at what fairy godmother Katie sent you, Granny. Say hi, Katie. Look at my dress. Do you recognize this dress? <laughs> it fit her so cute. Say hi, Katie. Say, I love you. <laughs> She's adorable. Look at the shoes. She looks so cute. Her head is a little wobbly. Ever since I took her to the meetup, I think I tossed her around a little too much. I have to maybe center the glass beads the, the pouch that I have on the top but yeah you guys that is it for updates and my face did you miss me probably not I'm sorry for this video and I know that I might sound a bit kooky to some of you but for me it's real this is real life you guys this is what some reborn artists like me go through and he has to be I would say other than, I don't like to say kids I don't like, but one of my most difficult babies of all time that I've painted so far. I'm not enjoying the experience of reborning him because of all the negatives and they're not small negatives, they're really big ones. If you root babies, you would probably understand me a little better. Picture a, a coconut head, just like a coconut, like you find in Puerto Rico. 
on the floor because they fall from the trees on their own, right? Picture something that hard and you're trying to take the thinnest, a 42 gauge needle to put one hair, one, through that coconut head. It's enough to make me have some anxiety, you guys. Anyway, before I keep rambling on, because I can talk about this for a very long time with you guys, because I have nobody else in my, I don't know many people in my everyday life that understand these babies but you guys. So you guys are the lucky ones that are stuck with me while I rant about my reboarding issues. And I'm very sorry about that. Bear with me, I'm really a nice person. Really I am, I'm just a little bit eccentric at times. Anyway, with that said, Quinny here wants to say bye and hello at the same time. I don't think you guys have seen her for a little while. But she's gonna say bye bye and say thank you very much for watching. And as always, the babies and I will 